Hi, I'm Brian Poole. I am an Associate Professor of Microbiology and Molecular Biology at Brigham Young University. And I'm here today to talk about coronavirus. Coronavirus is not just the coronavirus, there are actually lots of coronaviruses, but the one that we're talking about now is the new one. So there's this new coronavirus that came out of China, and it's now on the verge of causing what we call a global pandemic, which means it's spreading everywhere, it's in tons of countries around the world, and it's kind of scary. I've seen a lot of people saying that, oh, we've always been dealing with coronaviruses. And that's true. Coronaviruses usually just give you the cold, but comparing that to this one is kind of like comparing a cat to a lion. They're both in the same family, but they're very different animals. So this coronavirus is kind of scary because it is dangerous. It has a fairly high death rate for a virus, and it can be spread person to person really easily. So there's some things to worry about. But you should not panic because you're probably not going to die from the coronavirus. What's probably going to have the biggest effect on your life is a quarantine or inability to travel or something like that. Because right now the coronavirus is still spreading and we know where it is and we know where the cases are. And so there's still hope that we can keep it contained and make it go away and never have to deal with it again. But the problem with that is sometimes we may have to cancel events or like in China, they shut down whole cities. And so you may not be able to go out or may not be able to go to certain things. That's why everybody's stockpiling all of these supplies. But there's no expectation that like the water is going to be shut off, for example, or the farms are going to stop working. So having enough to stay inside for a, a week or two is probably a good idea, but we don't need to panic about that type of thing. And the virus is probably not going to kill you because although it is a fairly dangerous virus, the mortality rate is somewhere between 0.5% and 6%. So what, what does that mean? Well, what it means is that of every thousand people who get it, anywhere between five and 60 people will die of that thousand. So young, healthy people especially tend not to die from it, but those numbers are actually quite scary for a virus because flu has a mortality rate of 0.1%, which means that even at the low end, this virus is five times deadlier than flu. And in America, we've noticed that the death rate is even higher than in China. We're up at about 6% in America, whereas they found it to be 2% in China. So it is a very serious infection. You don't want to catch it. It's something that we need to take seriously and try to contain. But again, you yourself are probably not going to die from it. The really scary part, though, is that as your age goes up, so if you started children, there haven't been many children with it, and then healthy teenagers are pretty good and adults are pretty good, but as you start to get age or you start to get sick, the death rate goes way up. And so a lot of people are saying, oh, we're saying it's a 2% death rate, but the real death rate is only 0.5% once you exclude old and sick people. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to exclude old and sick people. I don't want my grandma to die. I don't want sick people to die. I mean, they're people too, right? So they have a much higher chance of, of dying. And dying is not the only problem with coronavirus. One of the major things with this is, even if we've got 2% of people dying, about 20% of people have really severe infection and are in the hospital. And so that's another major concern, is if 20% of all Americans have to go to the hospital at the same time, that will completely overwhelm the healthcare system. So that's another one of the major reasons why they're trying to keep it from spreading, is because we don't want that type of situation where it spreads dramatically through the whole, through the whole country. When we're talking about death rates, 2% sounds really low, 0.5% sounds really low, but there's 325 million people in America. So if you have a 1% death rate, that's 3 million people that are going to die, and that's a lot of Americans. And that's just in America, but it's also spreading throughout the rest of the world. So when we look at virus spread, it's much better to keep it contained, to keep it from spreading, and to try to stop it in its tracks. Kind of the worst case scenario is that we don't do that. We just say, oh, it's not, nothing to worry about. We let the virus spread. It's like, oh, it's just like the flu. And then we have to deal with it every year. And it just doesn't go away. And it's just sitting around killing five times as many people as the flu does, which is a lot every single year. It is a serious problem. It doesn't require panic, but it does require care and needs to be taken seriously.